Okay, LOL minor time. LOL minor time. It's 1.48. They have the uh, new LHR scheme running in Windows, which is what I use. I use Windows 10 uh, on all my rigs. I do not use Hive OS and I do not use Linux. So I use Windows LOL minor 148. 1.48 is now available for download for Windows. And right here it is. So I went out here, got the LOL minor underscore V1.48, the WinZip 64.zip, downloaded that puppy. The browser complains, are you sure you want to download this? You override it by say yes, trust this file, and then go and install it. So I did that. Uh, they are, let's see, there is a mod in here for basically improving the LHR unlocker. So that is pretty cool. Slightly improved initial speed after startup on 510.x and 512.x drivers, allowing to reach the best performance faster. So implementing the new LHR scheme in Windows recommended NVIDIA driver is 512.15. So let's jump on over all right, I'm going to jump on over to the box. On this machine, I have two 3060 Ti LHR barf cards and one 3070 Ti LHR barf card. I hate LHR. So let's go into it. And that is not it. If I click on it, what I will show you is I first went and got the NVIDIA driver they recommended. And you can double check. By doing this, ignore some of these clicks. Let's go to Device Manager in Windows. Device Manager is your friend. Tells you lots of stuff. So here we go, NVIDIA. Here's my cards, 2360 Ti, 3070 Ti. Just click on it. Right click, Properties. Driver gives you the version, and it's going to be one. It's weird how it's decimal notated. So it's really 15.1215. They're saying 151. Oh, God, I forgot. <laughs> one five one two dot one five. So you got five one two one five. See how that works right here? Whoops. So I installed that and I'm good to go. And what I did next is let's go to the LLL minor. 148. All right, hold on a sec. I got to do this. I'll give you my thoughts on what the heck is going on. I am using this mining pool, Easel. I love it. I just switched. I switched out from ethermine.org and I switched over to this guy. I love this pool so much better. Uh, I think I'm getting 0% right now. Mining pool fee, they had a, a basic promotion or an offer. I don't know. I think I'm getting 0% when I clicked on it. It said I had 0%, so that's good. The beauty of this is I get paid out in Zill as well. What is Zill? Zilliqa. Zilliqa. Here you go. Right there. And you can see where it's at. It's dipping. It's dropping like every other coin. It is dropping. But you get that as well as Ethereum. So let's go back. I am mining. Oh, I lost my place. I'm mining ETH. I've got my Ethereum wallet. And I've got my Zill wallet. And you can see the payout things here. This is an awesome freaking dashboard. I love this. This is one of the best ones I've come across. I love this dashboard. Whoever did it, did it right. So hats off to the developers, the web designers who laid this out. You got over, overview, workers, reports, referral. Look at this. There's my workers, online, red, yellow, green. Love it. Perfect. Gives you your reported hash rate. And uh, and your basically your averages and all that stuff, your overview, and when your next payout is going to be based on estimation of time, three days, ten hours. I love that. That is what people want. That is what miners want to see, and they did a great job. And they put the gas fee, which everybody hates, that horrible, horrible Ethereum gas fee, which is out of control. Uh, lately, it's been fine. So look at it. Oh my God, I take it back. So lately, it's been fine. 34.54. Holy crap. I've never seen it that low. That's like a buck if you map it to a USD. All right, enough of this crap. So I mine Ethereum. I'm on this pool. Let's go back to what we were talking about. I am setting up LOL miner. So here it is running right now. I'm you know cut to the chase. Let's look at the configuration file. 
I just do a batch file, right? So you do LOL minor, I give it the full path, I give it the algorithm, ETH hash. My stratum, my mining pool stratum is UFC East, ezil.me, which is that mining pool I just showed you. You combine the Ethereum wallet with your Zill wallet. That is how they roll. And uh, let's see what else we got on the end of this puppy. And we got nothing to screw up the file. Why didn't that go to the end? You know, I, nothing ever works. Let's not, let's not mess that up. Let's just scroll to the end here. There we go. Uh, you put your wallet address, put your worker name, you put the devices. I, I put the devices because I'm messing around here. I've got a 3070 Ti and a 3060 Ti running on the latest LLL miner, which we downloaded and we showed you at the beginning of the video. And on the other 3060 Ti, I'm using T-Rex miner, which I knew I was getting 46 mega hash mining ETH hash. And I just want to do a side-by-side bake-off, and this is how I'm doing it. So there, these are the settings I'm using for LOL Miner. How am I going to set my overclocks? I don't use HiveOS, and I absolutely hate using MSI Afterburner, but I did it anyway. So I went in, MSI Afterburner, and I set these settings. I'm tweaking around, trying to get the best performance out of this 3060 Ti, which I want to smash. I hate these LHR cards. Um, yeah, I just don't understand what goes on with these things. But here's what I have right now at this point. And I am running LLL Miner, and on the top here, I'm running T-Rex Miner. And I'm only getting 43.61 now. I was getting 46 before I f this whole process up by downloading LLL Miner and upgrading the driver. I don't know what's going on. So this has been about 44, the best I've seen, on T-Rex Miner. And before I started this whole experiment, I was getting 46 on that card on both my 3060 Ti's. Let's jump down to LOL Miner. I'll show you the improvement I got here. Um, I did get a, a, an improvement on the 3070 Ti of all cards, which is a huge freaking shock because I hate that card. So right here you see it for the 3070 Ti, GPU number one. I'm getting 59.32 reported hash rate. Pretty good, but oh, damn, on that 3060 Ti, I'm 44.5. It should be 46, man. That's what I was seeing running T-Rex. But I don't know what got mucked up. Maybe installing the driver screwed something up. But yeah, so I did get a noticeable improvement on the 3070 Ti going from maybe 57 mega hash, which fluctuated. It would go up to 58 and down to 55. Running T-Rex Miner, it was bouncing back between those numbers, 54 to 58, right? So having installed LLL Miner, and let's go over here to, uh, what's this damn thing? Uh, MSI Afterburner. And here's my settings, 1450 on the memory clock, zero on the core clock, uh, and power limit at 62. I am seeing like 59.27. So I'm getting a consistent, almost a consistent number between 58 and 59. Uh, so I think LOL Miner, in summary, has actually improved the uh, 3070 Ti uh, processing on ethash for me and that's why I had this split apart so I said okay I get a better consistent is the key consistent hash rate on the 3070 Ti with LLL minor than I did on the T-Rex one so I said let's flip it over and keep it there and ran the old one of the 3060 Ti's with T-Rex minor and that's only giving me 44 but then I'm also getting only 44.5 on a 3060 Ti running LLL Miner. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to let it run overnight. Let it run overnight and see if uh, maybe the thing auto-tunes itself. Yeah, I don't know. It drives me nuts sometimes. Uh, I have no idea why. I, I even reinstalled the drivers on that 3060 Ti, rebooted the machine. Yeah, I don't know. But the 3070 Ti is working like a champ. So it has made a noticeable improvement, and the power is at 180, which is about right, which is what it was at before. And let me double check that before I say something incorrect. 3070 Ti, and let's see, yeah, 180. Yep, so that is consistent. Uh, so that's a good thing. So in, I guess the conclusion I'm making from this video 
Uh, let's see where I'm at here. Yeah, we're 10 minutes in. Let's make let's wrap this puppy up. Let's wrap it up. Conclusion is LOL minor. Oh, look, we got a recalibration on the unlocker. This is good. So it's constantly fine tuning, fine tuning. I am hoping that it gets that damn 3060 Ti up. And that's why I'll let it rip around. See, there it corrected. Now the thing dropped down. The 3060 Ti just dropped down to 37 from 44. It'll come back up, but it's just it's trying to find a, the best route to get this little this LHR turret up up and running as best as it can. Uh, yeah, so if we scroll back, we're getting now we're getting consistent 59 on this 3070 Ti. So if anything, the LOL miner does work really good, making a consistent mega hash of like 59 on the 3070 Ti. The 3060 Ti, I don't know what I mucked up because even T-Rex Miner is not giving me 46 anymore on that card. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to that. Uh, maybe kick it in the butt again, reinstall the driver one more time. Maybe that flushes it out. I have no idea. I did it once before and I can't remember. And I bet it has something to do with this damn MSI Afterburner. I bet if I, um, I, bet if I stopped MSI Afterburner, and I stopped LL minor, just ran T Rex on that 136 I bet it would I would bet it would jack back up to 46. And I'll try that later, but that's just something. I don't want to kill anything yet, but that's something I'm thinking I'm gonna try. And if it does work, I'll make a video. If not, I'm gonna let this run overnight. I don't want to kill it just now because this thing this thing is constantly retuning the LHR. You'll see it go through and adjust. And um, then the, MA, the, the MH, the, yeah, the mega hash improves. Here we are, 44.5, which is promising. Eh, that's what we've been seeing. I wish I get the 45 at least to show, show some kind of increased performance. But again, the 3070 Ti is the win with the LLL minor. And uh, that is a good thing. And that is version 1.48 for Windows. Uh, I do not run HiveOS, so I cannot compare to that. But I'm sure people are getting better numbers. Uh, but for me, with the cards I have, that is where you go. And the one up here is a Gigabyte. And this, I forget the other two, is a Zotac, maybe, and an Asus. Is the 3070 Ti. Yeah, where are we at now? 45, 59.3. So improved, improved, improved performance on the 3070 Ti. Uh, 3060 Ti, I'm a little disappointed. I don't know what I fried, but I'll figure it out and get these guys back up to 46 uh, with hopefully not cranking up too much more power. I want to stay about 130 watts or below right now i'm at 138 so i don't know what i did that cranked the power level up higher nah maybe that was number 135 watts seems about right but we'll fix that all right thanks for watching just want to give you an update on this LL minor other people have done videos on it but they've only done it with hive os in mind i said let me try it with the windows uh in my case nothing really improved on the 3060 ti you see in the bottom window here and but it has improved on the 3070 ti so there you go. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Take care.